Hey, what's up you guys? It's Zach with PC Bros. And I am in my home office setup. My cable management is less than perfect. And if you have a setup with three monitors or do gaming and stuff like that, you probably have the same issue I'm having where you kind of just plug everything in and it looks horrible. So today I'm gonna show you how to make this look better with about $50 of stuff I found on Amazon. So let's get right into it. So the first and most expensive item that I picked up from Amazon is these two racks that go under your desk. I also picked up these cable management sleeves with a zipper. These are pretty cool. Of course, you're gonna need zip ties. I got these nice Velcro ones. They look pretty good and it comes with a lot of them. I got a two-sided, can't see it on the box here, but when we open it up, two-sided surge protector that will go in that rack. And then we have some little sticky adhesive, double-sided 3M little tape here. So my main issue with this setup is there is too much stuff plugged in. I do have a wireless mouse, a wireless keyboard, uh, which is currently plugged in because it's charging. I just have a lot of random stuff in the monitors. Each one actually has the power brick. So that is gonna go into the cage under the desk. But I also have this like USB hub that also has display cables. Um, we'll decide if I even need this anymore. I had this with the laptop to run laptop triple monitor. And then I have these cheap uh, speakers. So these all require a lot of cables. Mine's gonna be a little bit more extreme. If you're just running one monitor and maybe like a mouse and a keyboard, it would probably be a little bit easier. If you're like me and go a little bit more excessive, then this is gonna be a good video to watch. So first things first, all of this I have plugged in needs to come out. I need to unplug everything and restart. That is gonna be the only way this will work out. I do have some Velcro zip ties and stuff on there now. Those are gonna to have to go too. I'm just gonna to have to start from scratch and then one at a time introduce the cables back in. There's too much. I'm so overwhelmed. Yeah, there's just too much here. I, I, I'm gonna, I don't think I need all this. This Dell USB and display hub, it might have to go because it also has a power brick, which just means it's gonna be harder to cable manage. And I don't think I really need any more. We'll see though. So I got everything unplugged and in little piles here. We have my power cord pile, the display pile, the if I'm gonna even keep this pile. So the next step is gonna be for me to add the new cages, but I, I'm gonna have to take this one off to make that work. Um, so I'll just remove that and move to the next step. So I got the old rack off and the new rack has two. You can stack them because of their hooks that they have. You can stack them like this or have them go side by side. I think I'm gonna do this way, but I could be wrong and I might quickly switch it to stack and that might be better, but I think cable management, cause then you can run the power cord through here and I feel like that might be easier. And it looks like this one just does have those tension clamps. So it shouldn't be too, too hard. Then you just size up and measure it where you want. It even gives you some cable Velcro ties, some more cable management accessories here. And then of course some screws if you wanted to screw these together. I connected these two together with the screws they provided, and then it can just hook right onto it, and it'll just rest right there. So you just have to get it the right distance, and they even give you extra little hooks if you wanted to do it stacked. So I gotta tighten these up and get them where I want it, and then put this on, and then we get to the cables. Well, it looks like that fit on quite nicely. I'm actually pretty happy with that. So you'll have no cables on the ground, hopefully, by the end of this, and you can easily put a power cord in there and other stuff kind of shove them, hide them in. I'm hoping it will fit all three monitors power bricks somehow. Now that we got this part done, I am going to open up the new power brick and try to feed all the cables through and just take it one step at a time, not to get overwhelmed. Well, it looks like Matt and Jackson really hooked me up. I, I didn't expect this surge protector to be so high quality. It's even got the nice cables here. It's even got some USB and it has two Oh, three sides. So this should be perfect for to slide in and then plug in everything I need. Hopefully this is all I need and then I can get rid of those two right there. Damn, this gotta be the highest quality surge protector I've ever used in my life. So I know I have these bricks. 
And luckily, these monitor ones are pretty small, so I shouldn't have a problem with fitting them all in here. Again, I'm gonna go one at a time and feed it through and then try to zip tie the cables coming down here and just try to make everything be like one big wrapped like bundle of cables. So then I could put that sleeve over it. The goal is to have the least amount of cable showing as possible. And any cables that do show should be like protected a little bit. So I've played with a couple different configurations, but the annoying thing is plugs like this because they take up a lot more space, but luckily we have the side ones. So I think these two on top, that way can still rest flat. And this right here, these are the three monitors. And it looks like that fits. I'm gonna feed each through. I'm gonna unplug the other two and do one at a time. I was just making sure that configuration worked. So it looks like there's gonna be a lot of excess cable here, which I can zip tie and get out of the way. I'm seeing these two will kind of follow the same path. So I might want to start thinking about zip tying these together and keeping these close. And at the end, I'm probably going to do some more straightening up, but I just want to make sure everything fits and all the cables are following the most optimal like routes to get to where they need to go. I got all three monitors plugged in, but now I gotta figure out how to make this look a little bit cleaner. I mean, I've been zip tying the power block with some of the excess and fitting that in, but there's a little bit better I can do here. So I'm just gonna touch that up and then run through what I did. I have plugged all the display cables in the PC like this, and I'm probably gonna start zip tying them this way, because ultimately I know I'm going to be using these sleeves. I've never actually used these before, but I think they will work out pretty good. Now this might be a little excessive, but I have so many of them. I'm actually going to zip tie it first with these and maybe just get them all together and keep them together. I'll actually wait to put these on last in case I mess anything up and need to redo it. Now I get to plug in all the display cables and watch as I get overwhelmed. Okay, so I zip tied a few zip ties to keep all the display cables together. I think once we get the sleeve on and push the desk back, these shouldn't see at all. The goal is to not see basically any cables as few as possible. The mess behind the monitors, I have a few ideas for the solution to that. But first, I gotta plug in the power cable to the PC. I'm probably just gonna plug it in right here. Eh. Now I believe the last thing I have to plug in is the desk itself. And then with the excess here, that's just gonna be hanging. I'm going to try to use these that came with this. They have little adhesive that sticks to the top of the desk. And sort of like what's going on here, I'm going to try to navigate the cables to go here without seeing any dangling from the desk to the best of my ability. So because this is so thick, I just tried it. I couldn't find any way with this power brick to make this fit here. Luckily, I have one more outlet open. So I'm going to try that same thing, feeding it up here and getting it to blend with these cables into the outlet. So these didn't work for me. These are trash, but it could be a skill issue. So I am using the adhesive and running it through and gonna blend it in with the crate and then it will go into the outlet. And luckily these bunch up really nice because they're still brand new. And then I can zip tie this and this would just be behind this. So you wouldn't even really see it. So when using these little cloth uh, zip sleeves, you see it's not, you, you can't have it too thick. So I'm probably gonna have to zip tie it, and keep getting it tighter and then use these. And honestly, these will look pretty good. So it's looking pretty good. I ended up tying some excess cables from the monitor to the monitor arms. If you look from this way, you can't really see that many cables. And when everything gets pushed back, I think it's gonna look pretty good compared to what it used to look like at least. So I pushed it back to see where we're at and all the cables are off the ground. 
I could probably do a little zip tie here and do a little cleanup work, but I am pretty happy for my scenario on what I use it for. There's one more thing I wanted to test before considering this done. I wanna test going up and down and seeing if that messes with the cables at all. And it looks like it is just fine. Looking at these before and after videos, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Hopefully this inspired you to get back to that cable management project that you've been putting off for a while. I know I have, I've been wanting to do this for about a year and just now did it. And hopefully this inspired you that even if it's not perfect, it's still gonna look a lot better and be worth it in the long run.